let's go ahead and make sure we got our first team in there let's go ahead and sim this game versus liverpool we'll see how that goes so that game's gonna end up 1-1 i don't necessarily want to make you guys watch the simulation every single time because again this season is all about the champions league but i do want to keep you up to date i'm probably going to end up skipping through most of this i think this is i don't know if this is the Oh, this is the Carabao Cup versus Oldham. We are up 1-0 early. We're going to go ahead and spank them 4-0 with our secondary squad. I'm loving that secondary team. I think they could really do well for us going down the road. So it looks like the Champions League draw finally came up. Let's go ahead and look at this. Who did we get? Who did we draw? Chelsea handed lucky UEFA Champions League group. Is it going to show it here or do I need to go in... Chelsea were handed a favorable draw on paper, including Milan, Monaco, and Fenerbahce. Okay, that's not too bad. I wouldn't necessarily say that's just easy, but... Well, you know, this year, the way Monaco's been going, I guess it is. They have just completely fallen off the wagon. So many superstars, but they sell them every year. So, uh, we'll take that all day long. Let me go ahead and look at some of these other tables, because it's going to be all about the Champions League this year. We first real quick, so deals of this are we actually had two of the top three deals. Yasin Brahimi to Inter. This guy, I'm surprised he hasn't gone to a big I love Porto, but I'm surprised he hasn't gone to a larger club sooner. Dybala and Kimmich. We have the top two deals. So let's look at the let's jump into the I want to look in the Champions League standing. So guys, let's run through the Champions League groups real quick right here. So we got Spurs, Hoffenheim, Besiktas, Moscow. Man, Spurs handed a pretty easy group. Uh, no disrespect to the other three in there. All solid teams, but relative to what you could draw these days, United, Dortmund, Porto, Kiev, Chelsea, Milan, Monaco, Fenerbahce. It's going to be interesting going to play Milan. Let's see, Madrid, Roma, Moscow, and that's interesting is we're in a group. I say we because I'm a big Roma fan. That is my club I support. We are in a group with Madrid this year. Moscow, but we're in with CSK Moscow in real life, not Spartak. And Ro uh, we also have Rosenborg in there. Bayern, Barca, Shakhtar, and Basel. That'd be interesting. Bayern and Barca, I'd love to see them play again. City, Napoli, Leverkusen, Madrid. Jeez, that is a ridiculous group. That, yeah, that sucks. Uh, Juve, Mal or, uh, Lyon, Ajax, and Lech Poznan. PSG, Valencia, Moskva, and Liège. Um, yeah, looks like so. It looks like the interesting group in there: City, Napoli, Leverkusen, and Atletico. That is rough, man. Napoli gets this. Is, Napoli finds a way to get get screwed in Europe year after year after year, and they blow it year after year after year. This year, they have a good chance. This year, this finally might be their year that they actually make it through to the round of sixteen. They always barely miss out. I don't know if you guys remember. There was a year where Napoli finished with like 12 points and still still somehow missed. I forgot who else was, was in their group, but there was a year where Napoli had 12 points in the group stage and still didn't qualify for the second round. But let's get into... Yeah, let's leave our A team in there for now. Let's go ahead and sim this game versus Watford. Let's see what happens here. Again, guys, I'm not going to sit here and watch every single game. 3-0. Injuries are the main thing we want to avoid. Let's go ahead and wind down the transfer window here. Okay, we're going to have to use our secondary squad here versus Brighton as we have our first Champions League game coming up versus, versus uh, Fenerbahce on Wednesday. We're going to go ahead and take a 1-1 draw. Not the end of the world. Again, the main thing... Oh, man, this is a cool little cut screen. I don't think I bothered to watch this last time. This is cool. I just too click happy. I click X too much. But let's see, this is pretty cool. The Champions League preview. It's going to be all about the Champions League this season. This is what we want to win. This is the reason we're doing Season 2. Let's go ahead and move forward to the Fenerbahce game. Bakayoko, I think, is happy we put him in that last match. But... All right. Oh, my God. I just remembered. The reason I didn't see that last season is because we weren't in the Champions League last season. So this is actually going to be the first... Champions, what is this? We wanted to earn uh, shirt sales. So this is actually going to be our first Champions League game that I've played so far in FIFA. I'm pretty excited about that. Let's go ahead. I'm pumped, actually. This is super cool. So glad to have this addition to FIFA. Let's go ahead and put in the A-team. 
Let's go ahead and play Fenerbahce here. I think we're in Legendary mode. I recently switched to Legendary mode at the end of last season. Uh, wow, that is a... That is a... Not a cool combination. Shoot. Um, I hate changing it, but I can't play yellow on yellow like that. There's no way. All right, we're just going to have to have them in their alternates. But this is the A-team, as you can see on screen. I've gone over the lineup a bunch of times now, but we got Werner, Hazard, Dybala, Asensio, Kimmich, Varan, Koulibaly, Sandro, SMS, Kante, and Kepa. Uh, make sure we're on... Let's make sure we're on the right. Make sure we're still on legendary mode. If I start winning too easily on legendary mode, I am more than happy of moving up to ultimate. I know some of you guys probably only play on ultimate and even legendary is way too easy for you, but I'm trying my best here. So let's jump into the game. Dybala in early here. Let's see Werner. Come on, Werner, win that. Into Hazard. Hazard is gonna cut inside on his right foot. Hazard shoots off the defender. Dybala, Dybala in the back of the net. Oh, that is so awesome, the little Argentine magician. What a ridiculous player. I'm so happy we brought him into the team. Such an amazing player. Can literally do it all. Love watching him with Ronaldo this season. Let's see, Hazard took a deflection off the defender. Dybala just right in the right place all the time. What a legend. He's going to be an absolute beast for us this year. Dybala is an absolute beast in this game. I think Hazard's open in the middle. He is on that right foot. Hazard shoots off the post. Van Anson into the back of the net. And we are up 2-0 early. Another deflection, but we will take that all day long. Let's get a replay here. We are crushing it in the Champions League. This team is so overpowered. I think we might have to go to... He almost actually missed that, but I think if this continues like this, we might have to bump it up to legendary or to ultimate team. It might be, it's hard to judge playing Fenerbahce. We'll see after we play Monaco and Milan, but it might be a bit silly playing this on Legendary. This team is just so ridiculous. I think the lowest rated players are Kimmich and, uh, Kimmich and, who else is 86? I think Kimmich and Werner are both 86, but they're both youngsters, the two German youngsters, so... They're going to grow, and they play higher than their rating. So, let's see if we can go ahead and get this one out. we got Koulibaly and Varan in the middle there. SMS defends that well. Asensio, let's start on the break here. Dybala on the break. Let's see if he can outrun his men. Werner in behind in an acre of space. Werner shoots on that far side and scores. Well, the <laughs> goalie tackles us a little bit, but... That is what we wanted to do. Dybala is just so ridiculous in this game. He's just so... Oh, I got to adjust my mic a little bit here. But Dybala is just so ridiculous in this game. Man. Man, is he an amazing player. Just so quick and incisive. Had all that space. Werner cut over. Just drilled low shots. Not as great this year as they were last year. But he's going to drill it into the far corner. We are absolutely embarrassing Fenerbahce in front of their home fans right now. Asensio is going to try to start another break here. Let's see, Dybala is going to pick that up in some space. He sees SMS. Is Hazard going to make a run? Oh, it took too long on the ball. It's okay. Sandro to the rescue. Conte... This team is just filled with, is so loaded. I think we might have to go on to ultimate team. Dybala on the left. Dybala shoots and scores. Snipes the top corner. What an absolute savage. This team is just ungodly. What a beast of a team we've put together here. I, we had a ridiculous, our summer transfer budget was $170 million. I I'm going to have to look at what we spent, but it had to have been like 300 million pounds. Dybala just on his left, just drills the top corner. It's hard to say playing Fenerbahce. I want to play one more game versus a little bit better opposition on legendary mode and then make the decision if we jump up to ultimate team. I have been playing FIFA a little more lately as I've had a little bit more time. I actually have today off for Veterans Day, so thank you to veterans in the U.S. That's why I'm actually recording right now, but... Oh, we give the way. Kepa with an incredible save, but anyway, um... So what was I saying? So yeah, I've been playing a little bit more lately, so maybe I, my skills are getting a little better, but that, and I, I think a lot of it, though, is the ridiculous team we've assembled there. Uh, so maybe we're going to have to bump up to ultimate, uh, play on ultimate difficulty soon here. Kimmich leaning a break the other way. Let's see if we can get that into Dybala. Dybala into Werner. Werner in some space. SMS sees the Serbian beast. 
Alexandra on the wing. Men open in the middle. Asensio can't quite get there. It looks like Fenerbahce is going to collect that one. Going to actually have a chance at a break here. Let's see, we're, we pushed Conte higher up the pitch. Werner, Werner. Still Werner. Somehow still has the ball. Werner shoots. Could have gone anywhere. Let's see, let's get in another corner here. I'd, lo I'd love to get one of our big defenders a goal. I think that'd be pretty, pretty nice way to round off the game. Goalie doesn't come for it. Oh, that was Koulibaly. Who is this? Sandra on his right. Conte. Come on, go out for a corner again. Piling all kinds of pressure on Fenerbahce right here. Let's get another one in. That was a good spot. Bang! Into the back of the net. Joshua Kimmich with the goal. We actually have him playing at right midfield or that right wing slot. We're going to go up 5-0. What a way to debut this new squad in the Champions League. Kimmich just gets up and powers that one into the back of the net. 5 nothing spanking for Fenerbahce in front of their home crowd. We might have to put the difficulty up to ultimate difficulty going forward. Let's see if we can get one more goal here. Bakayoko, Werner, no, nope, they're going to steal it. Let's see, it looks like this game is going to end 5 nothing though. Don't want to let them get a last-minute goal. We want the shutout for for Kepa, I want to keep the clean sheet. And Danny Drinkwater's gone to Fenerbahce, too. I, I thought I saw that earlier. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and absolutely wreck Fenerbahce 5-0 in our O game. Let's see where that puts us. So it looks like in the other game, let's see, 5-1. Uh, or what am I? Oh, no, that's our game. So Milan beat Monaco 1-0. So, yeah, that's interesting. We'll see how the rest of the group goes. We definitely want to be winning it, though. I think it should be no problem.